Yo, so we have a huge content drop for MLB The Show 21 today. This video, I'm going to be going over Team Affinity Season 2, but I should also be dropping two videos where we're talking about the big collection and then everything else that's new today, including the event and the roster update. So if you guys are watching this video right now, be sure to leave a like, subscribe on the road to 100,000 subscribers, comment down below which Team Affinity Season 2 rewards you think are the best. In this video, I'm going to go through the reward path, the missions, and then show the attributes for every single reward twin gaming tv on twitch link in the description as well as my twitter and instagram but we're just going to show you guys how the program works the missions and everything that stuff's going to be the same for every division and i'll show you the rewards though for the players their attributes for each of the packs and everything so we got bat skins right here um i'm probably not going to show this for every team maybe i will um you know it's pretty quick we got bat skins we have choice packs for diamonds okay flashbacks and legends instead of golds we get diamonds i'm gonna real quickly just show this i don't want this video to be way too long so i'm gonna just show you guys each card if you want to pause on any of these feel free uh it's i would say pretty much free diamonds right these affinity programs are not super super hard to do and i want to make it clear as well that you do not need season one done for team affinity season two they are completely separate We'll show you the missions and stuff to get stuff. We have some unlockables, you know, some nameplates, uniforms right here. Uh, another one of those flashback packs, Team Affinity packs, two right here. And like I said, I don't want this video to be way too long. Um, but as y'all can see, unlockables, Team Affinity packs, more of those diamonds. You'll be able to get all these diamonds. You will be able to get all of the unlockables, all the diamonds, all the uniforms, everything like that. And then here are the players, okay? You guys have probably already seen most of these cards, but you have not seen a lot of their attributes. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys the attributes. You guys can pause it on any of them if you want to. This is the AL East. Starting with the Orioles, we got Calvertkin Jr. If the servers decide to load, I imagine the servers are going to be a little bit slow right now. Probably a ton of people trying to play. There's Calvertkin Jr. right there. Jimmy Fox right here. I am excited for this card, man. For the hitting scheme of things. Also plays catcher, Lou Gehrig. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if the loading time's a little bit long today. Uh, we got Lou Gehrig. Honestly, not nearly as good as I expected. Wow. Oh, I'm a little bit disappointed by that card right there. Uh, Shane McClanahan. I think all the future stars have maybe had their attributes revealed, but we're still going to show them in this video. And then we got Team Affinity Packs, another one of those. AL East Live Series, Ballin' as a Habit, Team Affinity, same thing. Uh, just some rewards going on and on. Every single path is going to be the same, except what will be different will be the diamonds, you know, the unlockables, the players, stuff like that. And then every division will have the same missions, moments, stuff like that. Like, you'll get the same, same amount of points and everything. So, I'm sorry if I'm talking fast. Like I said, I just don't want these videos to be way, way, way too long. But the missions, this is huge. This is huge right here. Instead of innings, it is now plate appearances, okay? So, 10 points for 100 plate appearances, repeatable. Keep in mind, repeatable ones over there. And this is any mode. Okay, so you could get this done in Ranked Seasons Events BR, and they also have an online one. You get 10 for this, 100, but you also have 75 plate appearances where you get 4, and that can be done online. So you could literally make a theme team for Ranked Seasons and be killing two birds with one stone. That is a big W in my opinion. That's huge, and I feel like this is going to help a lot of people out who don't like doing Showdown, who don't want to do March to October, you know, stuff like that. I feel like this is way, way, way better than having innings as the mission. You have hits online with players from that team. You have extra base hits online and then strikeouts online. And then as always, we're gonna have missions with the cards from those packs, right? We have the stuff with Chris Davis, strikeouts with Kimbrel, homers with Sanchez, hits with Kiermaier. You know, we're gonna have missions with the cards that you can earn through the packs in the program, both the big rewards and the smaller rewards. Now, I'm probably not going to show you guys all the missions and everything for every division, just because it's going to be pretty similar, right? But I did want to show you guys one time so you all can see what it's looking like, what kind of things you have to do. And again, plate appearance instead of innings. That's just so huge, man. I feel like that's awesome. We got moments, as always. Looks like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So just from doing moments, you'll be able to get 10 points for each division, which is really nice. East Affinity Conquest will have a Conquest map for each team. Uh, I did not mean to, to go all the way back out there, but Conquest is going to be giving you 30 points for that. And again, with Conquest, it's for East. So you're getting AL and NL East. It's not just the league. It's both leagues. It's both national and American. So keep that in mind, which is always sick. March to October depends on how you did. 
you can get quite a bit if you play it on a higher difficulty average of 84 for legend average of 42 for beginner collections we got flashbacks and legends right here you can get 10 points towards that so collect flashbacks and legends from any team i can't talk in my brain today from any you guys know what i'm trying to say though there's collections it's going to get you 10 it's going to be flashbacks and legends i'm pretty sure for each division you can get 10 points for that and then exchanges they added a tier so you can get 30 45 55 60 you can get 60 total points just from exchanging players if you do this one you don't get these done these are all individual but you can get up to 60 points and then showdown it's going to be looks like three points per voucher and you can also exchange five vouchers at once it looks like yo that's a big w2 okay so they made it so you can exchange five vouchers at once that's huge that's super super nice uh that's awesome uh, that's a big w right there and now for the rest of the video i think i'm just going to show you guys uh the bat skins the attributes for these players and the jerseys from each one so we're not going in any specific order again if you want to pause on any of these feel free joe nathan right there cookie jack morris and uh i don't really I, I i i might make like a tier video for these you know ones that i think are the best something like that but for now um oh my bad i didn't mean to go to that one again for now i don't really have any uh any thoughts one way or the other on who's gonna be the best who's gonna be the worst some of them do i will say look quite a bit better than others uh and it obviously depends on their position like this jim tommy is gonna be a goon at first base in my opinion um but i feel like there's definitely some that a lot of people seem to like better than others now i will say looking at that johnny damon looking at some other future stars i will say i feel like there is a lot of cheesy type future stars where it's high contact high speed low power maybe getting some blue base hits and everything wait so do we have i think we got 60 new diamonds that's insane man i'm pretty sure we got 60 new diamonds just from team affinity season two that's wild oh that is insane man um i forgot to show you guys the unlockables for here uniforms right here and then the final one that we're going to show for the american league we have these royals waltz oh 93 velo hits per nine a little low though hits per nine for that card scares me tory hunter robert pawson look at that another high contact kind of low power great fielding though Great speed. Edgar Martinez, first base, also plays third. Great hitting attributes besides that power. And then this is Sam Huff. I don't know why his card art's not here, but y'all can see. Very good-looking catcher. Good fielding. Great hitting. Great pop in his bat. Vision's a little bit low, but that looks like a beast of a card. On to the National League. Again, I know I'm kind of rushing through these, but I just really didn't want this video to be way too drawn out. Some more of these 60 new diamonds. Kind of insane. Um, if you guys have any questions about Team Affinity, feel free to leave them in the comment section and uh and, and i could try to answer him or somebody could try to look at that another like kind of cheesy card look at that womp here a met rosario future star flashback right there i'm excited though man i, I am excited i have so much that i want to do and I, I don't know what i want to do first Ooh, hank aaron okay that's a pretty cool looking card honestly not bad at all also plays third base wow i want to try that card this one looks pretty good he was one of the pitchers i had my eye on this might be my favorite not my favorite but one of my more anticipated future stars switch hitter above 80 for all of his hitting attributes in terms of contact and power diamond fielding with some decent speed switch hitter especially looks great we got a cliff lee beautiful card right there looks like a solid card too good pitch selection good control which is huge with pinpoint and then jackson rutledge right here that's going to be the NL East, NL Central now. I was a little bit disappointed by Joe Torre. Um, I would have rather had, I think, a future stars, Jordan Walker, probably. Um, but I'm, it's not terrible. I think it's going to be okay. Look at that Tyler O'Neill. Oh, and we got Luke Croy. Hey, shout out to Kevin. We got a Jonathan Luke Croy right here. Nah, man, uh, that's a... Uh, that's not, I, I like how they have done this this year. I'm really happy with how Team Affinities have been. And the fact that they made changes too. The fact that they made changes and gave us a way to exchange five vouchers at a time to a, a, a better way to earn it with innings, you know, plate appearances instead. Okay, he does have a catcher secondary. I know a lot of people wanted that. Not a bad looking card, especially versus righties. Reverse split a little bit in terms of power, 106 vision. That's not a bad looking card. Honestly, that is better than I was expecting. Wow. 
I'll take it, man. That is better than I was expecting. And then the final division of the video, we have the NL West. Oh, Chug Nasty and a Sergio Romo. Oh, man. Yo, I need this card. Oh, I need that card for my team. Wow. Okay. Don Sutton right here. And then Heath Bell. Oh, man. I haven't uh, I haven't heard that name in a while. Bro, there's, there's some hidden gems in these packs. There really is. And then the final of the big diamonds, Dante Bichette. Such beautiful card art right there. We got Brandon Webb sinker for his card. Dante Bichette, beautiful, man. Great hitting attributes, too. Oh, my God. Josiah Gray. Tony Gwynn. Right field. Man, that's going to be a pretty good card, too. A lot of, a lot of those cheesy-looking cards. High contact, low power, decent fielding, high speed, you know? A lot of cards looking like that. Then we got Willie Mays. Uh, when you parallel him, the contact will be above 80 versus lefties. Great fielding. Wow. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with Team Affinity Season 2. I'm not going to lie, man. I'm pretty happy with Team Affinity Season 2. I'm curious to uh, to see what y'all think. I hope you like some of the cards at least. Curious to see what y'all's favorites down in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe, social medias, all that good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it was informational. I'll see you next time. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.